Talmadge, in your latest book, Raising the Bar, A Crucial Role of the Lawyer in Society, you chose to profile numerous attorneys and their impact. Tell us about the book and why you chose to profile iconic figures such as Abraham Lincoln, Leon Jaworski, and James A. Baker. Well, I think the American people are great believers in heroes. And there's no greater American hero since our country was formed than Abraham Lincoln. And no greater heroes in the last hundred years than Leon Jaworski and James Baker. All these people happen to be lawyers. I think people have lost sight of the fact that Lincoln was able to do what he did as president because of his consummate talents as a successful lawyer before he became president. I think people forget that James Baker was able to be such a great counselor and negotiator because of the time he spent as a business transactional lawyer in Houston before he went to Washington. And I think people are forgetting that Leon Jaworski, more than any other uh, American person, is responsible for cementing the power of the rule of law in this country, proving that every person, even a president, must obey the law. In your book, you share the inspiring story of the fictional Atticus Finch. A lot of lawyers would say they don't have Finch-like careers fighting for justice. In today's world, can the life of a lawyer still be inspiring? Every lawyer has a chance to be Atticus Finch in every matter he handles. It's all about his focus, his commitment to his client, his commitment to the truth. And that's why the story of Atticus Finch stands out, because he was in very special circumstances. But every matter a lawyer handles has its own set of special circumstances. And so he may not get public acclaim or national recognition, but he'll get the recognition in his client's mind for having done a job well and served his interest and brought him closer to a better point in his business or life. In reporting on lawyers like James A. Baker, you point out how avoiding litigation, knowing how to compromise, and being pragmatic are traits of successful lawyers. Are you trying to shift our thinking of lawyers away from the image of courtroom duels and high dollar awards? Well, lawyers first and foremost must always be in the business of being problem solvers. And that's what made James Baker stand out. Whatever the situation, he was thinking first and foremost about how to get to the goal line of resolution. Anybody who's been a practicing lawyer for any length of time knows that that's what the client really wants. They don't want a courtroom victory followed by an extensive appeal. They want their problem solved now so that they can get on with their lives. So that's why I think knowing more about James Baker and his approach to the law and compromise and getting to resolution promptly in a way that's satisfactory is a lesson for all lawyers in today's world. You also profile storytelling lawyers such as John Grisham and Richard North Patterson. What's the significance of being a storytelling lawyer? Well, any lawyer who wants to be in the business of engaging his audience, whether it be a jury, a judge, or anyone else, had better be a good storyteller because it's stories that engage us. And both John Grisham and Richard North Patterson, who were both practicing trial lawyers before they became best-selling novelists, perfected that art. And by reading their work and learning about the art of storytelling, it can help lawyers engage their creativity on how better to present a compelling story whenever the opportunity arises to engage an audience. So, do you recommend a career in law even though we have an abundance of lawyers? Our society is always going to need great lawyers. Yes, today's market seems to be a situation where the supply of lawyers exceeds the demand, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't keep calling our most talented people into the profession. Because one thing we know about society, people will always have problems, and too often they're not able to solve them by themselves. And so they need a lawyer who's focused on their interest, who's focused on prompt resolution, who has a sense of fairness and integrity to get to the goal line of solving that problem. And that's never going to go out of style, regardless of the American economy.